Now I want to look at the cost curves and the shutdown point. So again, let's remember where we're at here, that we have an overall market for a product that looks like demand and supply giving us for the perfectly competitive firm a perfectly elastic um, demand curve. And as we'd seen in the previous picture, here's my marginal revenue shaped like this. As well, we know that the average fixed costs AFC keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller that the average variable cost is u-shaped And getting closer and closer and closer to it is the average total cost. And as your eyes are kind of attracted to this point right here, that would be the point where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. But it would also be a point here where the firm is uh, breaking even um, if we started to calculate its um, total revenue and its total cost. Let's look at that a little bit deeper. How would I calculate total revenue? So if I'm just talking about the individual firm here, Total revenue, as we know here, is just the price times the quantity, meaning that it would be this region right here. That would be my total revenue. What about total cost? Total cost is going to equal the ATC times the Q. So if I now throw in this ATC curve, in this case, total revenue minus total cost equals zero. They're basically the same two areas here, um, and everything would basically cross each other out. Um, we'll see in the next video how the firm could possibly not be making that much money. But what I want to at least briefly talk about here is the shutdown rule. With the basically the question being is when should the perfectly competitive firm shut down? The cost to shutting down. is your loss of all fixed costs. So, if the firm is earning something, um, obviously if the price equals average total cost, the firm <clears throat> is breaking even, meaning that they're neither losing money nor making money. If the price is less than the average total cost, the firm is losing money. But what we're trying to say here is that if the firm shuts down, 
then the loss equals fixed cost. Which means that the firm wants to at least be making back its fixed costs. But it might not be able to, um, or if it, if it continues to produce, it doesn't want to add to the losses. Meaning that it wants to avoid a situation where producing allows the loss to be greater than the fixed cost, because then it would be better off just to shut down. So the firm wants to be able to charge a price that's greater than or equal to the firm's average variable cost. And that is essentially our shutdown rule. If the price were less than the average variable cost, then the loss would be all of fixed costs plus a portion of the variable cost. So see, here, they would be better off shutting down, because here, they're just going to lose all their fixed costs. If they're charging something less than the average variable cost, they're losing both their fixed costs as well as their variable costs. What that means, if we start to draw that out, is that this firm needs to be earning at least its variable cost, which then makes the supply curve any of the points that exceed it, at least in the short run. So what we're saying here is that in the short run, the firm might produce at a loss, so long as producing covers the average variable cost. They still might lose the fixed cost, but at least it would be a portion of it. The supply curve then for the perfectly competitive firm is wherever the price exceeds the average variable cost along the marginal cost curve. This shaded in region right here.